Hey boys and girls, it's Pastor Doug, and I've got a message just for you today. So I hope I can uh, have your attention for a few minutes. And if your parents and grandparents want to listen, well, that's okay too. I want to tell you a Bible story today. And this Bible story involves Peter. Do you remember Peter? Do you know anything about Peter? Do you remember him from the Bible? Yeah, Peter was one of the disciples of Jesus. That's right. And you know, he was just like us. You know, he did some good things and sometimes he did some not so good things. And one of the things that he did that wasn't so good was when things got really tough for Jesus, he denied even knowing Jesus. He pretended not to know him. So that wasn't good. But Jesus forgave him for that. And because of that, Peter got so excited that he wanted to do anything he could to serve Jesus. And so he was a great follower. In fact, he became a leader of the disciples after Jesus went back to heaven. And he was praying one time about how he could serve God better, how he could reach more people. Well, at the time, he started interacting with some folks that weren't Jewish, that um, many of the other Jewish leaders thought, you don't need to be hanging out with these people. They have different rules. They dress weird. They speak weird. They eat different foods. Uh, we don't associate with those people. And Peter thought, well, it seems okay to me. And so he prayed and prayed and prayed, wondering what was the right thing to do. Was it to stay away from these people that were different? Or was it to accept these people that were different? Well, he kept praying and praying and praying. And God gave him the strangest vision. It was a vision of a sheet that came down out of heaven. Let's go and see what that was all about. So we're going to pretend this was the sheet coming down out of heaven. And what was inside that sheet? Well, it turns out it was animals, like pigs, and crabs. Uh, that's my hermit crab. Hello. And bunny rabbits. Yeah. And more pigs. Oink, oink. And... More crabs and shrimp and all kinds of yummy foods. But what was interesting about it, you like my crab? Hello. What was interesting about all those animals was that those animals had always been forbidden to be eaten by the Jews. But in this vision, God told Peter that it was okay to eat these foods now. They once, you couldn't eat them, but God is saying, now you can. Well, that was important because these were the kinds of foods that non-Jewish people would eat. And so this meant that Peter could go eat with these non-Jewish people and teach them about Jesus and teach them about the love of God and could bring them into the church. And so this was a huge, huge deal that they were suddenly able to eat these different foods that they had not been able to eat before because it meant being able to sit at dinner with people who were different. And it made me think, are there people in our lives that we need to reach out to who might seem a little different? You know, I bet God is wants us to reach out to those folks too. And so as we go through this week, and maybe as we start back to school, let's think about the ways that we might be able to better relate to people who might be a little different. Because God says we all need to be able to get along and that everybody needs to know the love of God. Let's pray. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you love us all. And Father, teach us how to love people who might even be a little different. 
Father, we thank you that you accept us. And so, Lord, help us to accept others. In Jesus' name, amen.